it's my turn. Welcome to a My Turn special reading, which is very exciting because we've got Lee and Tanner, the author of Ella and the Ocean. What's really interesting about the story you're going to hear is what the family once saw were tips, ended up seeing them as pets. Hmm, I wonder what made them change their mind. See if you can find out. Hello, my name's Lee and Tanner and I write children's books. And today I'm going to read to you from my picture book, Ella and the Ocean. Here it is. Ella and the Ocean by Lee and Tanner, that's me, and Jonathan Bentley. I wrote the words, Jonathan Bentley made the pictures, and the book was published by Alan and Unwin. But I'm a bit puzzled because it's called Ella and the Ocean, and I can see Ella, see, she's up here, and I can see a house, and I can see some trees, but I can't see the ocean. I wonder where it is. I guess we'll just have to read the book to find out. Ella and the Ocean by Lee and Tanner and Jonathan Bentley. Ella lived in the red dirt country where the earth was as dry as old bones and it hadn't rained for years and years and years. One night, Ella dreamed of the ocean. said Ella the next morning. Have you ever seen the ocean? Once, long ago, said Dad. It was wide and flat like the land between here and the hills. Does it crack open when the rains don't come, like the land between here and the hills? I don't know. Maybe it does, said Dad, as he stared out over the dry, dry plains. Mum, said Ella, have you ever seen the ocean? Once, long ago, said Mum, it was blue and shiny like your hair ribbon. Does it get tangled when the wind blows like my hair ribbon? I don't know, maybe it does, said Mum, as she tried to close the door on the red, red dust. Ben, said Ella, have you ever seen the ocean? Once long ago, said Ben, it was rough and fierce like a wild horse. Can you catch it and tame it like a wild horse? I don't know, maybe you can, said Ben, as he hauled feed for the hungry, hungry cows. That night, Ella dreamt of the ocean again. Gran, said Ella the next morning, have you ever seen the ocean? Never in all my life, said Gran. But I dreamt about it once. It picked me up and carried me from one side of sleep to the other, and I have never forgotten it. I've dreamt about the ocean twice, said Ella. Now I want to see it.
What's the point? said Dad. It'll be dried up and cracked like the land between here and the hills. Why bother? said Mum. It'll be tangled and knotted like your blue hair ribbon. Waste of time, said Ben. It'll be tied up and tamed like the wild horses. But Gran knew that dreams were important. You want to see the ocean? Then so you shall. Mum, Dad, Ben, Gran and Ella drove through the red dirt country and everything around them was as dry as old bones. They flew over the red dirt country and everything below them was as harsh as broken dreams. I think we're getting close to the ocean. Then they came to the ocean. I'd forgotten how beautiful it was, whispered Mum. I'd forgotten how blue it was, murmured Dad. I'd forgotten how beautiful it was, said Ben. But Gran hadn't forgotten a thing. On, Mum, shouted Ella. Hurry up, Dad. What are you waiting for, Ben? The ocean turned them upside down and back to front. It tickled them until they screamed. It made them laugh until their sides ached and all their broken dreams were washed away. Mum, Dad, Ben, Gran and Ella flew back over the red dirt country with memories swirling around them. They drove back through the red dirt country with new dreams growing inside them. At home, everything was the same, but different. Look at the colour of those hills, said Dad. Listen to those birds, said Mum. Check out that sky, said Ben. Gran and Ella gazed out over the wide, wide plains. It has to rain sometime, said Gran, and we can keep going till then, said Ella. And they did. I hope you enjoyed my story of Ella and the Ocean. We certainly did, Leon. So, did you find out what caused the family to change from Teps to Pets? Did you work out what it was? It was the ocean that washed away all their broken dreams and they were able to go back to their home and things that they once saw as Teps they were now pets and they could make new dreams. That's a wonderful story. Thanks, Leon. Ella in the Ocean has been nominated for the New South Wales Premier Awards. So we wish you luck there, Leon.